Okay, so in this video we're going to see a third form of a quadratic equation and we're going to see how to graph in that form. So we started in 10.1 and 10.2 doing standard form. To graph these we went negative b over 2a to find the axis of symmetry, found our vertex, uh, and plugged in some points around the vertex. Uh, in the last video we saw intercept form which we were able to plot zeros of the graph first and the axis of symmetry was halfway between. Uh, then we just plug that x value in to find the vertex. The third form we're going to talk about today is actually called vertex form. And it's called vertex form because you're basically given the vertex for free just by looking at the equation. Now here's our general uh, vertex form. And it looks a little complicated, but it's really not so bad once you get the hang of it. Um, so our general form is y equals a times x minus h squared plus k. And the reason this is called vertex form is because the vertex is at the point hk. So you don't have to do any kind of formula or find a middle value to find the vertex. You're basically just given the vertex. Um, the one thing to watch out for is since the general form is x minus h, uh, the h value is the opposite of kind of what you see here. So if it's like plus 2, the h value is technically negative 2 because a minus a negative 2 would be simplified as a plus 2. And we'll see an example of that in a second. Um, so you're given a vertex with h and k, and a uh, is kind of like your leading coefficient here. That's going to give you your reflection, or your stretch, or your shrink. Um, so let's just look at an example of this. If we want to graph y equals x plus 6 squared minus 5, the vertex we can find very quickly um, we know the y value is going to be negative 5, and then for the x value, this is what I was saying, it's kind of opposite. So x minus something gets us plus 6, uh, we would be subtracting a negative 6, because x minus negative 6 is plus 6. So I'm going to go ahead and plot that point right away, negative 6, negative 5. We know that's my vertex. If we want to sketch in our axis of symmetry with a dotted line, we can do that. And then to find some more points, we just plug in points around the vertex. So plug in points around negative 6. If you plug in uh, negative 5, for instance, negative 5 plus 6 is 1, 1 squared is 1, 1 minus 5 is negative 4, then we know that's going to reflect. If we plug in negative 4, negative 4 plus 6 is 2, 2 squared is 4, uh, 4 minus 5 is negative 1. And that should be good enough for us here. Plot our points, and we can go ahead and connect our parabola with a smooth curve. Not perfect, but we get the gist. So vertex form, you really, you just get the vertex, you plug in a couple points to the right, reflect them to the left. Uh, vertex form is also really nice for doing comparisons to the parent function. Uh, so in our general form, h, since that's the x part of our vertex, is our horizontal shift. k is our vertical shift, up and down. a, as I mentioned in the last slide, is a stretch or a shrink, and if a is negative, that's your reflection. So let's practice with that idea a little bit. How would this graph compare to our parent function, y equals x squared? Well, the only shift happening is we're going up 4, so we'd say shift up 4. This one, however, when you have 2 times x minus 4 squared, we saw on the last page that anything inside the h part is a horizontal shift. And since our vertex would be at 4, since this is minus 4, we're technically shifting right 4. That left and right shift is always backwards of what you think it is, because the general form is x minus h. And then the 2 out in front makes our graph skinnier, so we call that a stretch by 2. Uh, down here we have two shifts. We have a plus 1 on the x, so that's a shift left 1. And then the minus 2 is a shift down 2. If you want to go ahead and pause the video and try this one out, there are three transformations. Let's see if you can get all three. Okay, we'll start with our left and right shifts. Uh, we have x plus 6, so this is a shift 
left 6. We're adding 9 at the end, so that's a shift up 9. The one on the end doesn't change. Uh, you don't have to go backwards. It's basically what it looks like. So if it's plus 9, it's still up 9. And then finally, the negative out in front. That's our uh, reflection over the x-axis. So I'm just going to write reflection. So that graph would be going down. Okay, we're going to do one more. Uh, once again, if you want to pause the video, maybe sketch this one out, see how you do. Uh, go ahead and try to graph this. Plot the vertex and plot some points around the vertex. Okay, so if you have x minus 3 squared minus 4, your vertex is going to be at positive 3, negative 4. I'm going to go ahead and plot that. We'll put in our vertical dashed line for our axis of symmetry. Then if we're making a table, my middle value in the table would be that 3, negative 4 point. I'll plug in some points to the left. I'll plug in some points to the right. I'll go ahead and just plug in 4. Uh, 4 minus 3 is 1. 1 squared is 1. 1 minus 4 is 3. So Or negative 3, excuse me. So negative 2 would also be negative 3 when we reflect that. And then finally, we can plug in 5. 5 minus 3 is 2, 2 squared is 4, 4 minus 4 is a big 0. So we can plot that there, we can reflect it over, and then I will just do my best to sketch out a smooth line. And if you were asked to describe the shifts or, or transformations, you'd have a shift right 3, shift down 4. Uh, this graph opens up, so it is it has a minimum value, just kind of going over some of that old stuff, a minimum value at, in our case, negative 4. So that wraps it up for vertex form. It's mainly just using this general form of the equation and knowing the x part is kind of backwards from what you think or what it would look like, and the y part is pretty much what you'd think. So if you need to rewatch a couple of these, if you need to rewatch this video or this part or this part, um, it might help you with the homework tonight. But yeah, that's all we're looking at for uh, Vertex 4.